Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Lord Ann. And today, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by talking about something Disney related. So, for today's video folks, I'm going to be speaking about the original version of this film, and it's titled... Yeah, Freaky Friday, the original one of course. Yeah, I'm finally talking about this one folks, about time. So, oh, alright, this is something I've been meaning to review anyway because it's a Disney movie. I did review the other two remakes it made. Yes, remade twice to my knowledge. But, you know, from Disney, from Disney, I mean. So, I finally got to the original because my rule of thumb is that if, I, if I'm going to review an installment of a said franchise, I might as well review them all. Unless there's like a, unless there's like a specific reason not to, I guess. But that's just my general idea of what I would do, of course. But anyway, yeah, this this uh, movie is actually based upon the on a novel, on a 1972 novel of the same name. But I can't tell you if it's faithful to the material or not, because I've never read the book itself. When it comes to the majority of these adaptations, I usually have not looked at the original source material. I mean, there's some I have, of course, but not all of them. But I'm tend to, I tend to just look at the movie, but the movie, I just do my best to judge this film on its own merits, which I feel like it should. It should stand its own merits and whatnot. I mean, look at the book. You keep it in spirit, okay, folks? Don't, don't get me wrong. Don't make it too different from that was. Keep it in spirit. Keep the overall idea. Is what I'm saying. Keep the keep the overall idea of it, the spirit of it. Keep it intact. But at the same time, don't let it be living in its own shadow. Don't let it be like maybe too many sim uh, similarities. I guess you can say. Let it stand its own two feet, so to speak. But anyway, anyway, yada yada, blah 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 blah. Of course, as usual, I do have to talk about the plot. So let's just get into it, shall we? Uh, the character, you know, the teenager, she's like, she's like this tomboy, and she's a, pretty much like a free spirit, carefree, kind of like, she goes to school and whatnot. Yeah, so we're doing the whole school setting again. But, uh, yeah, I noticed a lot of these, um, these movies that they, uh, that they made from Disney had to take place in school. Either middle school or high school. Yeah, I'm not sick of this setting. Come on now. Okay, get it, get it, get it. Of course, the mother would have her own life going on. The mother would have her own thing, of course. Because, you know, she's a grown-up. She has responsibilities. Uh, she's obligated to do this and that, of course, because she's an adult. But we all know what's going to happen. You know, the mother and the daughter switch bodies. And yes, of course, it's going to be awkward, awkward, really awkward as all hell. And because they're from two different generations, of course. The mother's from a different generation, and the and the daughter's from a different generation. So the the mother's not going to know how to interact with her friends, and the daughter is not going to know how to act with her friends because, like I said, they're from a different generation. So again, hence the awkwardness again. So yeah, so they have to um, get a taste of each other's lives, of course, and. I'm, of course, I'm pretty sure there's a lesson to be learned here, of course, and whatnot. As you, as a lot of these Disney movies that tend to have a, some sort of le moral lesson or whatever. And, which is fine by me. I mean, they don't always have to have that, but if you can do it right, that's, that's cool. But, I don't know, that's basically the premise of the movie. I mean, I know it sounds like, okay, Ben Dale done that kind of a uh, fear to it. And... I think that premise was milked to death as years went on because there's lots, lots, and lots, and lots, a lot of movies similar to this. So yes, the premise itself, the whole body swap thing has been milked to death, if you ask me. And like I said, there were two remakes that came after this, which are terrible. Like I said in those reviews, I mean I reviewed this out of order, but yeah, which tainted the first, which tainted the first movie, if you ask me. Like the old saying goes, you know, like, you know, can a bad movie, uh, I mean, yeah, can a bad ending ruin a good movie? Yes. 
can two bad remakes or two bad sequels or bad spin-offs or what even call it, like a bad whatever tainted the first movie? I, I believe it can. I, I believe it can. Uh, I mean, it's, I mean, if I, okay, if I just want to get in the mindset that I'm just gonna review this on its own terms, in its own way. Okay, it's, it's a pretty solid movie. Not that a not that original, but it's pretty a solid movie. It has moments. It has its own charm. And I know I've said this before. I know I've said it again. Where I always felt that the old Disney live action movies, live action again, live action. I always felt that the old live action films are far better than the more recent um, live action films. There's a few exceptions, of course. There's a few exceptions to that, of course, to that rule. But in the grand scheme of things, I felt that the old live action movies are far better to the new live action movies. Uh, with the with the animated stuff, it's like I'll give or take. It's the, the live the animated stuff, they're like wishy washy about it. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. Sometimes they'll just mediocre. It just depends which one you're talking about. But this one movie, I just want to talk about because it's on my, it's been on my to-do list for quite some time. Of course, it's been on my to-do list for quite some time. I was just taking it as a notebook, but kind of my to-do list anyway. Because I have a lot of stuff to review. Anyway, anyway. So, I'll give this film an overall rating of a 6. Point eight out of ten. It's a six point eight out of ten because it's a pretty solid film. As always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah.